This recording is far from perfect. Guitars are loud, the drums are slightly off time, and they sound kind of old, the bass isn't as clean as it could be, and the vocals aren't totally in pitch. But despite all these technical imperfections, I think it's great. And I'm curious as to whether or not fixing all of those things would actually improve the recording. Well, let's try it. First, let's quantize the drums so they're perfectly on time, and let's switch the kit to something more crisp and clean and modern sounding. Next, let's flex the timing of the guitars and bass so they are perfectly in time. Let's auto-tune the vocals so they are perfectly in pitch. And lastly, let's balance the mix to something a bit more level. Okay, let's give it a listen. So the question is, which recording is better? I mean, technically speaking, version two is far more perfect, but does that make it better? Obviously the question I'm posing is incredibly subjective, but in my opinion, version one is far better. But how? Whenever I'm recording something, I'm trying my hardest to play on time and on pitch. So shouldn't the version that is on time and on pitch feel better? And what is a perfect recording? Ever since I first started recording music, I've been chasing that perfect recording. And as I got better at playing, writing, and recording, I felt like I was getting closer and closer to achieving it. I found that with technology, I was able to make my recordings perfectly on time and on pitch. But at some point, I began to feel like my recordings became too clean, a little too perfect. They lost something. Listen to this song from 2015, for example. I never understood the term overproduced until I ran into this myself. And since then I've noticed it in a lot of other productions, especially in the rock world where a raw and wild aesthetic is desirable. I wanna start by saying I love Blink-182. They are the first band I fell in love with as a kid. But when you compare the production on their new album, One More Time, to something like Green Day's American Idiot, you can see what I mean. In my opinion, One More Time is far too squeaky clean and touched up for a pop punk album, so much that I actually feel it detracts from the music. Whereas American Idiot is able to retain the band's wildness while still sounding absolutely incredible. So what's the difference? Simply put, in Blink-182's album, I can hear the production. I can hear the technology, I can hear the auto-tune, I can hear the quantization, while in Green Days, I can't. If you look up a list of the most successful and acclaimed albums of all time, there are plenty of albums that have obvious flaws in the production and in the performances. Yet, we love them and they stand the test of time. In the Aeroplane Over the Sea from Neutral Milk Hotel is a prime example. It is one of the roughest albums I've ever heard. It's distorted to the point of clipping, it's off time and off key at times, but it's absolutely fantastic. Why is that? Wouldn't it be better if it was perfect? If everything was quantized and pitch corrected? The answer is no. According to Wikipedia, this album is known for having an intentionally low quality sound. And I think that sentence holds a tremendous amount of wisdom if you analyze it. It's low quality sound was intentional, which I think is a key to why it's so good. I have plenty of recordings I made when I first started out that meet a lot of the same criteria. They're low quality, they're off time, they're off pitch but it wasn't intentional, and as a result, they aren't good.
In my opinion, that recording sounds incredibly amateur. It's obvious that the low quality sound wasn't a creative choice, but was rather a result of an experience. Contrast that with an album like The Body, The Blood, The Machine by The Thermals, where the low quality sound is clearly a brilliant creative decision made by producers who knew what sonic footprint would best serve the songs. This isn't all to say that an intentionally lo-fi aesthetic is the key to making a good song. There are plenty of acclaimed and successful albums that sound absolutely fantastic. They're crystal clear, loud, clean, and the production value is off the charts. So in a way, we're back to square one. Maybe we should think more deeply about what music really is. Wikipedia defines music as the art of arranging sound to create some combination of form, harmony, melody, rhythm, or otherwise expressive content. No surprises there. It goes on to say that it's an aspect of all human societies and a cultural universal. In other words, no matter where you're from, music is part of your culture. I think this also contains some wisdom that's useful in our discussion today. Music is incredibly human. It expresses the emotions we all feel in a medium we can all relate to. So in the world of music recordings, it seems like the human element is truly what makes a recording shine. And when you consider us humans, we're a lot of things, you know, we're inventive, we're imaginative, we're resourceful. But what is the one thing humans aren't? We aren't perfect. So why should the music we make be? I could be the best guitar player in the world, but I will never play perfectly on time. But I can try. <clears throat> With technology, I could take that performance and make it perfect. But if I did, it would lose its humanity. It would lose its character. And in my opinion, the sum of the small imperfections in the performance is what gives your recording personality. When you use technology to get rid of that, there's nothing left to distinguish your performance from anyone else's. This concept applies to albums that are intentionally rough around the edges and for albums that are polished and produced at the highest level there is always a human element somewhere in there that the listener can relate to. And after years of recording, analyzing great albums, and really thinking about it deeply, I can sum up my thoughts on it thusly. The more technology you use to make the performances within your recordings more technically perfect, the more humanity you strip out of the recording. This is something that has taken me years to understand and I hope it helps you on your journey to creating ever more perfect recordings. The loneliness kills me, it's all my brain now, I just gotta see.